And we're live! We're live. Are we? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. People. Ooh. Come on in, follow. We need to get a 3D camera so that when I throw stuff at it, it's a lot more exciting. <laughs> And also, I like to picture all of our audience at home wearing their 3D glasses. Whoa! Booty? Harper really likes this stuff. I don't, I don't know if I do. It's just air. But you can... It's like... It's pure, like, packing material. Mm -hmm. With just, like, a little... The finest sprinkle of soup sauce of dust. It's like someone was packing and then also ate some like white cheddar popcorn, like some right. food, and then just went like that. And then they thought, you know what, I should bag this. <laughs> this looks like, this looks do it. I like to eat it because then I could just make jokes about eating the booty. And that's how I make most of my decisions. Joke based. J pun, pun based. Fair enough. <laughs> Everyone filing in. Everyone taking their, taking their seats. A little early today. <laughs> what? You mean one minute later than we say <laughs> yeah. we usually are? We're one minute late, so that means we're ten minutes early. Whoa, something weird already just happened. I'll uh -oh. start at the top, but <laughs> John Benjamin says, Hola, Dark Side. What's up? What's up, JB? Two. Min Chip says, Howdy ho from the Lando Spuds. Lando Lakes man myself, but Lando Spuds will do just fine. <laughs> yes. Or Lando Calrissian. Hey. Whatever you got. <laughs> okay. Dork side. Emery Coffee says hello. 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 Eves. Hey Justin and Tyler. Said in the Hey Internet way. Hey Justin and Hey, hey Tyler. Tyler. Hey Eves. <laughs> Hard to move that pinky on that for me. Neil Granholm. Hey dudes. Chris McCormick. Hi boys. Oh. We're not gentlemen today. <laughs> Tom Farrell stealing Chip's line. That's what got me flustered at first. Oh. Saying howdy, hoes. Whoa. Y'all know each other? <laughs> or are you just, uh, we all getting very familiar here? Just a couple of hoes, that's all. Yeah, you know. A couple of hoes eating the booty. What are you going to do? <laughs> Dark side live. <laughs> Gorman says, salutation, sexy gooches. Right. You can't not help say that in like a... <laughs> the neck kind of weirded me out. <laughs> it's very like snake out of the uh, cartoon basket kind of thing. Be like, if I had a clarinet right now. <laughs> mm. Chris Corbett says, came at the end of that conversation. Oh my. May I recommend the hashtag overheard at dark side on Twitter? <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, <laughs> oh, the delay, I just saw my neck move. Oh. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And Pat McGuire. Pat McGuire. Mr. Poughkeepsie Grind himself. Main Street. <laughs> 137 Main Street, I think. Hey. It's a 1 out of 7. I always forget that middle. It's 117, 137. You can't fucking miss it. Across the street is nothing. Yeah. And he's right next to a pizza place, mm -hmm. some other crap, but you're there for coffee. Maybe a breakfast sandwich. I had uh, I had cold brew yesterday. Ah, how'd you like it? It was pretty good. Yeah. It was okay. I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. I gotta go see Pat to get me a grill hooked on the good stuff. I want some of that cold brew, Pat. None of that hot. Can't do it. That cold gooch. That iced gooch. Do you do iced coffee or you want to do cold brew first? Just like I don't know. I know there's like you know. I don't know. But I was busy working. We said iced gooch. I was thinking about making a Top Gun reference about gooch. <laughs> it's been right there the whole time. <laughs> Next week. Stay there. Or tomorrow's push notification, perhaps. Because, of course, you all have downloaded the Dark Side Records app. Dark Side Records. On the App Store or Google Play Store, wherever you get your apps. Mm -hmm. There it is. Feast on that. Yep. And, of course, you're going to get the push notification for the email that you signed up for over on our website, darksiderecords.com. Because of course, this is the used twos for use, and this is the used twos for use previews. Ooh, ooh. Damn. 
course, every Monday night, we're here, 645 at 611 Duchess Turnpike, going over the gooch for you. Some of the highlights, the LP we're putting out, maybe some cassette, maybe some CD, some movies. It's all here. It's your two favorite people. Nah. <laughs> John Benjamin wants to know if you watch Double or Nothing. I did. I don't know what that is, but I assume it's wrestling related. It is. It's a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie from the 90s. <laughs> That's also, I did watch that as well. Yeah, Double or Nothing was awesome. It's gonna be, it's, it's I'm excited. AEW, TNT, the wars are starting. I watched Double Dare as a child. Now we're talking. Yeah. Some gas, some guts. And I always wanted to climb the Crag Rock. Mm -hmm. I was more uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Okay, I remember that one. Mm, the old mech. <laughs> those, yeah, I just, the, those dudes scared me as they go up <laughs> through the temple. And <laughs> but like they, like the old, uh, like the old Nick shows like that, they had like the best prizes and like, like like the coolest getaways mm -hmm. or like the coolest hundred dollar calculator for like second place. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. Good times. There it is. Were we a little out of... Oh. I'm talking with JB right now. Ah! <laughs> and, well, uh, speaking we? of obscure 90s references... Oh, shit. Get, do it. Do it. Anybody a fan of Twin Peaks? No, it's not the soundtrack. I don't even know how this came up, but it's all I saw when I see this cover. A little dark side-by-side. Side. little dark side-by-side. Side. Watch out for it. So... It's Van Morrison, a la Major Briggs in a turtleneck playing a saxophone. Saxophone? <laughs> and a saxophone. When he disappeared to the White Lodge, this is what he actually looks like. He's, he's on vacation, he's not on the dress blues. And of course, he is Mr. Van Morrison in this nice little French pressing thing we got here. It's a weird comp. It's basically Moondance, Caravan, Moondance, Don't Me, Crazy Love. There's the tracks. But you really want to get in there on the Major Briggs reference. Because it's fucking good. This is almost as good as that time we found a crushed gum wrapper that was in the exact shape of the state of New Jersey. That's how good I'm going to say this is. <laughs> on par. Uh, my first one is a guilt, maybe a guilty pleasure for some of y'all. A little drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. On... You want the full album? Well, we got you. And it's kind of funny because they're only number one hits. Track one, track two. Drives me crazy, good thing. That's it. That's all you need, and that's what we got. Again, you. story of the 90s, For you know? Real. Oh, you always got the one-two punch on the album there. <laughs> they knew. Dibs. Oh, Dibs. Jason Miller. Okay. Thank Drop. you, Arthur Miller. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody's left onto saxophones. <laughs> it's our new instrument. <laughs> it's, it's like, it was a Dennis Leary line. It's like a little skit on the line. It's like, saxophones? You gotta fucking be kidding me! <laughs> saxophones? You gotta be <laughs> fucking kidding me! <laughs> 90s references. Let's take it to 84, okay. shall we? Alright. I-84. Oh. When there's a big pileup, mm -hmm. you know what happens oh. on I-84? <laughs> You're back there, right? You're the last in line. <laughs> <laughs> or at least that's how it feels. It's Dio, RJD, RJD, my man. It's Ryan James Dio, the little man from Syracuse, who lost a finger in a gardening accident. Did he? Yes, true. <laughs> I can't. Remember. Was it a thumb? Eves. Dibbed. Who got it? Eves. Eves got it. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. I was asking for you. Eves. Tell everybody the story about Dio's finger. It was a fingertip or something. Garden gnome fell on it, crushed it, lost a fingertip. If I have that story correct. If not, I'm telling tales out of school right now. If we're gonna talk about fingertips, I mean, I guess I gotta show you my MRSA fingertip. <laughs> I lost part of my finger. Don't you want to MRSA. MRSA, MRSA? There you go. Look at that weird little nub thing. Look at that. Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> A use twos classic, but a first time we've had it. Oh, your finger looks like an uncircumcised penis on the camera. <laughs> it's like you're gonna pull the sheep back. 
I don't want to do it to him on camera. <laughs> The German pressing of Dark Side of the Moon. Just a little highlight for you. You know what you're getting. We know what we're giving. But it's German this time. How about a crowd pleaser? Um, a, good, a good pun for this one. Please. Uh, we got a lot of Beatles this week. We I figured I'd highlight one. Mm -hmm. One I particularly care for. How about this nice little copy of Revolver? Not one we see used super often, does go 10 fairly quickly. You're asking, what pressing is it? What pressing is it? Well, it's an orange capital. Ooh. So, uh, what year is that? Oh, 1972, that's correct. I was just gonna say that. You were gonna say it. <clears throat> so, a little reissue copy of the Beatles Revolver, nice and clean. And, uh, of course, you get Taxman, Eleanor Rigby. Yellow Submarine, Here, There, and Everywhere. God, there's so many fucking hits on this record. Um, you know, of course, starting to deal with the effects of psychedelics, the feeling of loss, the, uh, the parceling out of material possessions in your life. A lot of big themes going on on this record here. Or you can just get high and look at the cover. There we go. You do you. We got a little dibs as well from Mr. Uh, Greg Cern. Cern with the Bam! dark side and a dibs revolver from Mr. Chip. Chippy Chip. Chippy Chip. Don't <laughs> strangle them with the holds because we got some stranglers. Didn't know how to segue into that, so I just did it. Third album, first album. Some early uh, UK punk for you. Um, really don't see much stranglers, especially some early stranglers. These two released within a span of 13 months, and they released their second album in the middle of these two. Them boys was busy. Those are the times, though. It's like, you know, these the demand. You got a hit, fucking put it out. Just, just, just get, get it going. Get down right. on it. Get down on it. Stand up in it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Cheers to anyone who got that. All right. Also, a healthy dose we of... We got a dibs on the third strangler. Oh, a little Neil little Grant on little healthy, healthy? Why do I talk? A healthy grammar of jazz this week. Thank you. I'm a real beast. Uh, <laughs> I think we got him. We got a nice big batch of jazz this week, including this beautiful little Art Blakey quintet, quintet. A Night at Birdland, volume one, originally released in the 50s as a couple of 10 inches, later compiled onto an LP. This, of course, is a French DMM, that's a direct metal master edition. That's a little audiophile soupçon there for you. Cool little Obi strip, everybody loves an Obi. So many greats on here. Lou Donaldson, looking at you, Dan Aloisi. Horace Silver, Curly Russell, Art Blakey, Clifford, Clifford Brown. A giant, a titan in the jazz world, mm -hmm. but not to be outdone. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it going. I got a little twofer. Oh, twofer grace. <laughs> yeah. How about some Herbie? Oh. A little maiden voyage. You know what I learned before we went on the video for this? Hmm. 24 years old when he made this record. Fuck. Doesn't it make you feel shitty? Absolutely. It's like, <laughs> God damn, what have I done? <laughs> Fucking nothing. Maiden voyage. Herbie's. Fifth album? Fifth or sixth album? Again, Blue Note, you know how they do it. Freddie Hubbard, George Coleman, Ron Carter, Anthony Williams. Uh, he was going for sort of an ocean, an oceanic, atmospheric kind of record. So a lot of the songs are nautically themed. Maiden Voyage, of course. Little One, The Dolphin Dance. A real classic. Not a firsty, not a firsty, but still on that sweet blue note label and of course mastered and recorded by mr rudy van gelder art blakey and herbie all right julia's doing a thing we'll wait you should say hi at least julia went to gov ball this weekend oh yeah i did did you really go if you don't have the bracelets on though? You didn't really the go. What? The bracelets? If you don't have the bracelets on though. 
Yeah. Well, now's a good time to talk about some stuff that's going on in the store. We've been hyping it up because it's fucking hype. June 8th, this Saturday, it's the Dark Side Bazaar. Our favorite and your favorite outdoor flea market. Once again, in our parking lot, doing it big, doing it dirty, doing it right. A uh, whole bunch of vendors. So we got big promises here. We got uh, a, whole, a whole bunch of uh, jewelry, art, local tchotchkes. I, was, I just had to say tchotchkes on them. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have our own tent, a whole bunch of good stuff, putting some, uh, putting some clothes out there, putting maybe some CDs. We'll see, we'll see. And of course, a whole bunch of good eats. Got to have the eats. And let's fast forward. <laughs> One week later, June 15th, Liberace will be in store. That's right, Liberace's corpse is being paraded around Darkside. A spectacle it will be. But stay tuned after that. We'll have live guests in store. Baroness. That's right. That's Baroness, right? Yeah. Okay. Baroness will be here June 15th, 2 p.m. Still some spots available. Of course, there is an in-store exclusive pressing of the new album, Golden Grey. You can only get it at indie record stores who are doing the in-store, of which we are one of six. That's pretty fucking sweet. So the way to get in, pre-order the record. You can do that now on our website, darksiderecords.com. Give us a call, 845-452-8010. Payments can be processed over the phone. Guarantee yourself a place in line. We will be shutting the store down for this. Shit gonna get crazy. So let's do it. Let's, uh, let's give a people a reason to talk about the Kipsy. Because, you know, they're going to go back and say, man, what, fucking where? Right. It was a great show. Hell yeah. Let's make it happen. The Kipsy and surrounding areas. <laughs> we got somebody coming from Canada, and it's not Eves. Whoa! Like, Eves is coming from almost Canada, but we got actual Canada. Hey. Border Patrol is involved now. Look That's out. how you know this shit's going to be good. And, of course, find out about all our events on our website, darksiderecords.com. You can also sign up for our special events email so you get everything sent to your email. Maybe even some push notifications. Of course, while you're on there, make sure you're on the used email so you get all the used tools for use. Make sure you're on that new release email. Get caught up on them new releases. Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. That's and, right. I, so I can't handle it, I'm so gassy now. And it looks like we're doing a little giveaway. For all you uh, you ska fans, I'm excited about this one. We got Real Big Fish and Bowling for Soup. We'll be playing it chance in a couple weeks. But we're doing a little giveaway. Take a picture of this in store or share the Instagram post once we post it. And you'll be entered two winners. A pair of tickets and a Real Big Fish prize pack or the Bowling for Soup prize pack. Dig that real big fish prize pack, get a little tiki cup. Um, so yeah, just do it. It's, it's free. You just gotta share. It's simple enough. I like free stuff, and I like sharing. And tiki. And tikis. Also, it's a big and tiki year. You get a little warm up with that sharing by sharing this video. Yeah, get your, get your sharing memory. Flex your sharing memory. <laughs> Oh, Sharon. I don't know what I'm getting at right now. It's like a muscle memory. That's the kind of joke I was going for. Like, I was going to make like a Shelf Sharon, flat. like a Sharon Osborne or something. I couldn't think of any other Sharons. You were Sharon, Sharon Zalek on the topic of disease? On the topic of D's prizes? <laughs> Back to the gooch. Life is good. With the out of print 11th huh. album from Mr. Nasir Jones. Better known as Nas. Um... Surprisingly out of print. Hmm. It's only came out 2011, 2012. Mm, so it's like right around when the store opened that first yeah. that came out. Uh, great song. Daughter's on this one. This is uh, one of his singles. I saw him last night. Julia saw him. Waiting for the strokes. And oh. then now I was went off stage. I was about to get a good spot. And then GovBall got canceled. And then a stroke of bad luck. Sure. And GovBall was canceled. That was good. That made it a little <laughs> yeah. better for me. We'd be stroking. I'm putting a little bit of hip hop out this week, but I'm gonna tell you, keep your eyes peeled. Got some more hip hop coming. Not this week, but soon. Real soon. Uh, 
said, Gorman wants to know if DMX will be having it in store before he plays the chance. <laughs> I'm gonna, go with, the chance. I'm gonna go with yes, <laughs> because he never actually plays the chance. I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth time the show's been rescheduled now. So yes. <laughs> I think we got a dibs from Mr. Uh, M. A. Weishaupt. On cool. Nas. Yep. Heck yeah. And uh, also, I'm sorry John, there's only two Puffy Daddies, and they're here 40 hours a week. No dibs though. Sorry. I forgot all about that actually. I didn't. <laughs> uh, we forgot a couple hellos. Okay. A little okay. late bloomers. We got Aaron Rodriguez on the line. Oh, what's up, dude? What's going on, Aaron? And Mr. Mike Withrow was a little late. He was taking a shower. That's all right. You we gotta... appreciate cleanliness here on the Dark Side of Use 2's update. Mm -hmm. You got to clean the gooch before you get the gooch. Got to make room, you know? <laughs> exactly. You, sometimes the gooch runneth over, and you got to fucking wipe that shit out. Like a thick Vaseline. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it going with a little jazz. Got a couple jazz batches of my picks, including a nice little Miles Davis jazz batch. How about some circles in the round, some unreleased recordings spanning from 55 to 1970, including some tracks with uh, Mr. Herbert Hancock Ooh. that you just talked about. But that's not it. Got a little 77 reissue of Miles Smiles. Featuring the second great quintet, Miles Davis, Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Tony Williams. Like Mancini, Herbie was fucking everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, of course, you got that 70s Columbia label. No 2i, no 6i, but that's okay. If that's making you sad, we got you with the kind of blue. A 77 reissue as well. Just a fantastic uh, Miles album. Sort of a must-have mm -hmm. for like any collection. Don't care. True. Take a chance. Yep. Step out. A quintessential, a affordable one. Do it not being a first press. First press. And uh, come and get your size a little pricey. So you get a little blue or a little smiles. Both at both ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, while you're rushing in for that. Another classic. This time, a little reissue of a classic, though. Of course, the blues man himself. It's Mr. Otis Rush. Uh, do you like Magic Sam? Mm -hmm. Do you like Buddy Guy? I love him. You love those fucking, like, those classic blues, like, squealy, bendy notes that happen? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, you're gonna love this record. It's Otis Rush. Morning in the morning. A real fucking classic. Otis Rush... Uh, maybe this will tickle your fancy. Dwayne Allman, little session man on this album, because it was recorded down at Muscle Shoals way back in the day. So, all sorts of crossover there. This is a 180 gram Sunday's repress of a true classic. Don't know if we've ever had an original of this one. No. Don't know if we ever will. So fucking don't sleep on it. How about that? Good to you know. This is good summertime. Kicking it back. Couple of brewskis. There you go. Uh, another batch of jazz for you, and some more quintessential pieces for the collection. If you don't already got it, I got a little bit of Coltrane from a, a couple different labels. Maybe a little Blue Note Coltrane, a little Blue Train. This is a early '90s reissue on the Blue Note label. Um, just Coltrane doing the hard bop, like only Coltrane can, but maybe we want to move to the Atlantic label. And I do. And a little Giant Steps, classic Coltrane, his first as a band leader for Atlantic Records. Uh, just a bunch of, bunch of great players on here. Or maybe we just want to move to Impulse. A little Love Supreme, four part suite, Coltrane, that nice sleeve there that I didn't side sleeve because it doesn't fit sideways. It happens. It happens. Yep. Elvin Jones, McCoy Tyner, Coltrane Garrison. Three Coltrane classics. Three Coltrane reissues. Dibs for Mr. McCormick. On which one, Mr. McCormick? He wants them all. Love Supreme? Giant Steps? Away. Blue Train? Mm -hmm. Run a train on them all. How about you? Huh? Hey. <laughs> I'm going to keep it going because oh, I kind of got a couple more. I just realized... 
Here's one I had never seen before and gave it a listen and it's fucking cool. Ginger Baker's Stradivarius. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a an odd collection of players. You got um, George Gass is a uh, father of Kyle, of course, guitar player uh, with Jeff Beck. But I'd say more importantly, father of Beck, <laughs> Bela Ransom Cootie <coughs> playing on this album and. It's heavily influenced. Afrobeat. You got a li- little bit of rock from the uh, the old the old Ginger Baker, and um, a little bit of free, like a little bit of jazz fusion on there. A weird hodgepodge of stuff, but a super cool listen. Definitely pick it up. A UK first press, super clean. Ah, that's all I got. How about? A little, just another classic, and uh, a true coming of age record mm-hmm. for you thirty uh, somethings out there. You know, you get start to get that feeling like, what am I doing? Where am I going? Where have I been? It's the Clash, Woo! London Calling. JB's making a puzzled face. I thought you were gonna say Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> it's the clash london calling not a first press this is a uh, an 81 reissue copy here but again a lot of big heavy heartfelt themes they take a little hiatus from a little writer's block coming back fucking strong of course you know it's about london but it's about the greater things around what's your favorite track um Probably Jimmy Jazz. Jimmy Jazz. Oh, pro- no, Rudy, Rudy can't fail. Okay. Yeah. JB? Supermarket. Supermarket. Ex- same here. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because apathy is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Train in Vain. Can't go wrong there. We got, a, we got yeah, a little Aaron Rodriguez. There we go. He knows. Mm-hmm. This was, uh, this actually reminds me of opening the store. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we were, uh, uh, you know, pre shelves and everything. We're in here. We're in here cleaning. We're in here painting. Got the sound system in the middle of the store. That's right. Just bumping London Calling. In my sweatpants. My first day at work, I wore sweatpants and then cleaned here. And then I went back for an hour and had to wear sweatpants in front of. Remember, Berto, that was the first time you met you. You're just wearing sweatpants. Hey, I'm the new guy. <laughs> what about an immaculate collection from Madonna? Hmm. What about a sealed immaculate collection from Madonna? Yoo-hoo. There he is. There's my boy Seal. Oh, you Seal, you can stay right here. I'm gonna need you in a little bit. Oh. We'll, we'll uh, view you in the morning, Seal. <laughs> a sealed Madonna immaculate. Uh, chippy chip, chippy dibs, chip dibs, Foxwell. You got it, buddy. I ain't gonna say nothing else. That's it. Mary, I have a fun story for you about the Clash in London Calling. Next time you come in, I won't bore everybody with it here, but I once got to sit with their tour manager on a bus and had some great stories. But let's kick it American for my last pick of the night. We went from London Calling to the streets of New York. It's the Ramones. Ramones. Self-titled. 40th anniversary edition set. This shit is a three LP, or excuse me, three CD, one LP, plus a little little Gucci info inside there. Nice hard bound edition. So you got the LP, you got singles, outtakes, demos, live at the Roxy in Hollywood. It's all in the original mono mix. You get the stereo mix on CD. This just came out, what, last year? I believe so. No. 2016. Sorry. Jesus Christ. We're now at the 42nd anniversary of this album. Time flies and you're having fun. That's right. But uh, here it is. I don't know if it's out of print, but you can save yourself a couple shekels Mm -hmm. on this nice and clean used copy. This is number 5,457 of 19,760. Retain that internet. My last one, I need Seal's help. 
course. Can you do it in the, can you s sing the whole thing in the style of him? Um, I wish you were here. I... Is that selling it for you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going for. I was, I was <laughs> Fucking Incubus. First pressing morning view. This shit stayed sealed since 2001. Jesus Christ. That's what you get about your talking heads. You've been listening to a couple talking heads right here. You don't need no talking heads. Little creatures on cassette. I'm gonna hold them in the back pocket until you brought it up. <laughs> Stealing the thunder. <laughs> Incubus, morning view. You gotta wish you were here. It starts off with nice to know ya. Goodbye. This album fucking bumps. I don't care what anyone says. A new rock alternative mainstay. Four times platinum. 1035, 1039, I, I think edge. double platinum. But platinum! That's been reissued. It was reissued for Record Store Day. But you can be the coolest kid and get it sealed, get it first press. Never been played. That's what that means. Sealed. Right, Seal? Right, Tyler? There it is. That's all I got for you. <laughs> yeah. Also, have these weird Al Yankovic cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> I was on my way back from dropping the girls off, I was listening to King of Suede on the radio. I thought that was random. <laughs> <laughs> Amish Paradise on cassette, if you want. This is the real gooch right here. Weird Al's gooch. It's probably going to be curly. Here's... That's in the third stall of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it again, folks. Another night of segues and dick jokes and Maybe a laugh or two. Maybe a tear. I don't know. A little sand in the Vaseline, That's huh? That's it. That was <laughs> <more> boring. <laughs> a little sand in the gooch. <laughs> uh, of course, thanks again for watching. If you're watching on delay, you see something you like that hasn't been dibbed already, let us know. Send us a message. Give us a call. We're here tonight, Monday night, till 9 o'clock. Reopening again tomorrow morning at 10. Everything's getting put out now. You can come get them them second dibs. You got your first dibs right here. Second half dibs. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we'll be back next week. Same time, of course. Same time, always. On the dot. <laughs> and you can set your watch by. <laughs> it's actually how they power uh, the atomic clock every year. That's it. <laughs> they, re they realign with us. <laughs> Do the jokes to it. <laughs> Dark Side Bazaar, June 8th, Baroness, in-store, June 15th. Right after the Liberace viewing. June 14th. We'll see you puffy daddies in the bins. <laughs>